another episode i'm kirsten the host and i have my co-host with me hello 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 everybody's very conservative in new york christopher wright yep and we've got hello it's nori yaya the liberal lobbyist hey. there we go. And, and and um you're in brooklyn right currently i'm in brooklyn cur- currently um do you want to <laughs> say right now where why you're not in the studio I would say it's very hyper um, precautionary self quarantine because of COVID nineteen. There we go. Okay, and today was episode thirty four, so um, it's real out here, man. It's real. Okay, it's it, this thing. We gonna talk about it. You know, we talked about it a little bit the last episode. And we haven't been together in so long. It's been actually like all of February. I feel like we haven't. Sat, yeah, we haven't yeah. sat down to have a conversation. These guys are very, very busy, and I've been busy as well. So I'm glad that they made time for us today because um, people have been hitting me up about what's when's the new episode, what, what's going on. <laughs> they got, they, our constitutionalists hit me up like, "Hey, man, I, I've been wait. Um, hey, I've been waiting to hear for another episode. I've got some people that have been. I've been trying to get some guest um, schedules, but their schedules and our schedules don't ever work. So. Hopefully, our you know we can start scheduling everybody in. Um, but you know, with everything happening, we're just gonna you know maybe we'll the next conversation will be done over the phone. You know, like, yeah. it's just, <laughs> we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. It's we're just taking it day by day. So, um, welcome to Politics Podcast. Um, thank you guys for listening to the show. Thank you guys for um, you know following us on Politics Podcast on Instagram. Uh, Twitter, Politrix Pod. It feels like poly- um, Twitter, you guys really like have like a lot to say on Twitter. So it's interesting sometimes having conversations with random strangers on Twitter. It's so funny. Um, and, you know, you can listen to us everywhere. If you're listening to us on Spotify, SoundCloud, Anchor, please hit subscribe. If you're listening to us, if you're watching us on YouTube, do the same. Subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us what you want us to hear, what you want us to do more of. All right. Um, yeah. So let's get, let's get into everything. What's going on with you guys? Where have you guys been the last couple of weeks? Black History Month. Anything fun? Anything cool happen? Any updates? Yeah. Uh, you know, same old stuff. I'm well, not same. I'm gonna be in Infowars tomorrow. So Whoa. yeah, Owen Schroyer reached out to me. He wanted me to be in the war room. So uh, yeah, because I'm setting up a rally for the end of the month. Turn New York Red Rally on Brooklyn Bridge. So. March 29th. So be there, be square, Sunday. March 29th. Okay. And you're going to be doing the rally. So do, when you do a rally, do you have to get like, um, like, I guess, um, some sort of permits or anything? Depends on where you're going. I mean, Brooklyn Bridge, not really. Oh, everybody's going to be on the Everybody's going to be on the Brooklyn Bridge. Gotcha. And I'm going to be at City Hall first, and we're going to do some speeches there. So I got some speakers coming. Mm-hmm. They're going to be doing some speeches, and we're going to march the bridge and come back and go from there so yeah definitely all right what you got going on nora comedy and comedy and yeah. you gotta you go. know uh it's been really good last month was amazing um and i think you know black history month did me well with the bookings of the shows so cool. um now i'll be at carolines and been doing a lot of lobbying of state um a lot of state focus the city is starting to pick up but obviously everything is impacted with the current state of the health of the country mm-hmm. okay um all right well for me same thing just been working um nothing too exciting to um to i guess update everybody on but um we did do a really cool thing for obviously our you know the point of the show is to inform people of color of both sides of you know the political um argument i guess where there's we have a conservative we have a liberal we have a moderate i don't know we so we try to have like different discussions and um one of the things i felt like doing this year was to highlight um some of the 
politicians on both sides, right? So I try to do as many people that not just your traditional Jesse Jacksons that people would, you know, or, yeah. you know, Barack Obama. Like, I tried to really dig deep and find different congressmen, you know, um, you know, people that are politicians that we probably, some of us don't even know. So I highlighted, I highlighted one of one person every day um, and it was cool, you know, and I think people, you know, people look forward to seeing it and a lot of some people had conversations about those that they didn't believe should be fo you know um featured mm -hmm. but you know like i said we're not like if we were i wasn't trying like i wasn't going into politics with these people i was just really going into like a lot of the people that i selected were like the first like the first to do this the first to be here the first you know so you kind of even if you don't respect or you know um side with them you know um it was it's, it's history it's history get over it yeah yeah some people didn't understand i'm like it's not about politics like we're not supposed to like you still have to celebrate these people because these people make it easy for us to walk around so you know it's it's you got to respect it so so that's why i did it and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you didn't see it go to our instagram politics podcast and check it out and go from there so Let's get into this uh, less politics because there's a lot to talk about and I feel like we're, um, you know, we don't have that much time. So let's get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, let's get into Super Tuesday's results. Um, we, 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 we now, see, we now have, I mean, we had a, a, a <laughs> you struggled there. <laughs> no, because I, you know what's so crazy since the last time we spoke? We had so many candidates. Oh my gosh. And now we only have three, right? So on the Democratic side, we've got Tulsi still in it, trying to fight. I don't know. Is she going to even be on the debate stage? I don't even know if she's just kind they of. They go let her. Yeah, they're not going to let her. But then we have Bernie Sanders, and then we also have um, Joe Biden. So everybody else um, dropped out. Um, Pete Buttigieg, um, yeah, Bloomberg dropped out. Um, Elizabeth Warren dropped out. Uh, Amy Klobuchar, whatever. Amy Klobuchar, she dropped out. So everybody, um, Steiner dropped out. Like it's, um, yeah, it's definitely you know shaping up into a two man, um, a two man, a two man war. Because <laughs> these two, these two are at war, and they're bringing the Democratic Party along with them. So. Wherever you politically stand, if you're very liberal, then you're, you know, with Bernie. And if you're kind of moderate, you stand with Joe Biden. So let's talk about that. What do you guys think? Do you think that, um, like, I mean, do you think that there's some sort of, I guess the question that I want to ask you guys is how do you guys think or feel the, Demo the Democratic Party will um, do after, 20, after this 2020 election with the fact that we have such a big divide in this on our political party in our hours and us too because you don't you don't you're a conservative what do you think yeah yeah um i think that you know i think that the the republican party went through something similar with the tea partiers and you know they pretty much a lot of them went further right so i think for us it's a matter of where we're gonna stand um we are being divided and uh, for good reason. I think that we're such a party that encompasses everything and all the interests of all groups. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult. I think way more difficult for Democrats and Republicans to find a center mm -hmm. and kind of find a compromise. So you said Republicans. Why do you add Republicans? Well, just because I think that the ideology behind it is a lot easier to get behind, right? So you think about a nucleus family, think about Christian, male-led uh, family household, mm -hmm. um, you know, small government. You think of those things, it's very clear. When you think of the Democratic Party, um, it's also like, well, I stand for LGBTQ rights, but maybe there's still some underlying racism mm -hmm. or maybe I disagree with immigrant policies. And we just have so many interests from so many different people um, that I think it's going to be more difficult for us to kind of find center. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Chris? Uh, I think radicals are taking over the Democratic Party. I think it's the Socialist Party now. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Ilhan and Omars and the AOCs and the Rashida Tlaibs and the Bernie Sanders of the world's. They've uh, they pushed the party very far left, and I think the establishment have been along with them mm -hmm. because they just wanted to get the votes. So they saw that the support was going that way, so they followed suit. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, they don't really have any kind of ground right now, no solid ground of, to stand on. And when Trump wins by a landslide later on this year, it's going to be, you know, where are you going to go from here? And I don't think they really know what they're going to do with that. So, yeah. See, my thing is, I feel like um, not only is um, like both of what you're both saying, I kind of agree with both of the, both of what you said, because I guess we're both kind of saying the same thing. Well, you haven't really said anything about the fact that, um, you know, they're taking over. But I do feel that way myself. I do feel like I, I wouldn't say totally taken over, but I do feel like because there's such a bigger um there's they're making a lot of noise so it's forcing like the the democratic establishment to at least pay attention to these people you know they don't want to it's like they're little (laughs) they don't want to they're like oh no like you're not you know what i mean because they have the way of their 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 traditional way of doing things and it's you know and i really do think that it's like it's becoming like we might have to separate this, you know, because this democratic socialist is not a thing. It's not this was not there's no such thing. Such thing is that. There's not such thing as that. So if that is create that and be part of that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the fact that we still have. This well, what did you think about his comments in the debate when he mentioned that there's socialism for billionaires um, currently right now? And that the idea of socialism is so scary to people that. They can't recognize some of the things that are at work for the top one percent. Mm. Like, w- well, what do you mean? Like that they uh, say, say it again. That one? So he was basically saying that, and again, you know, I'm Warren, and so I'm I'm lost. Sorry, right? um, but I thought it was interesting when he was saying that there's socialism for billionaires, and this is that there are tax breaks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, benefits, yeah. yeah. Um, and different ways in which this government uh, supports billionaires, like and bails them out. Way Right. Yeah, like the banks right. get bailed out when things exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then, but when it comes and so to- that it's when it comes to people and poor people in particular, it's not that foreign um, for for billionaires, but it's very foreign for you know the Everyday majority people. of this country. So yeah. I guess I'm curious, like when we talk about socialism and why there's no such thing as a democratic socialist. Like I would love for you to expand on that, just because I'm honestly still learning as well. Well, I just don't, I mean, there hasn't been until recent times, this is a new term. That's just off of that alone. I'm saying there's no, like it just started like, okay, as of last year, he, Bernie is, is calling it a democratic socialism. That's under, and, and, and then you have all these other, you know, like the people that you mentioned that have followed suit under that um, branch. And again, there is a need for what they're saying. I do feel like there's a lot of things in this country that's un, you know, that's unequal in terms of, you know, uh, you know, equal pay and um, insurance. People need health care, access to health care, access to, you know, uh, a quality of life, access to uh, uh, being able to purchase homes. There's a lot of things that I do agree with that is necessary. College, you know, having affordable college. But I also know that this a lot of this stuff like if we're going to talk about bernie a lot of the policies that he's saying they just don't they just won't make they just won't happen they they can't afford them there's no way to afford them can't afford them he said if you go by his all his policy all his free college free health (laughs) care free free life free world everything's free as as we know as three-year-olds that's not just a thing is nothing in this (laughs) world is free right we learn that at a very young young age Mm -hmm. so if we go by all his free everything they're saying they're going to be uh, taxing anybody making over twenty grand, eighty percent of their paycheck has what? to be taxed. If you're making oh over my God. twenty or thirty grand, yeah, because the math. I really would love to see the math of how they're going to pay for everything. I really would like to see it. I do. Think, I think that that's egregious. Twenty grand. Well, he. I mean, he's probably being facetious, but the poverty. I was about to say the no, no, poverty no, no, is, levels they, 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 I'm not are like the math. twenty the people, grand. The people have done the math grand. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the point. I mean, the point is still the point that like it's going to cost. Like us, we will be taxed regardless. Like let's not let's not kid ourselves. We will be the. We're going to get taxed for sure. We're going to be taxed, sure. and some of us make twenty thousand dollars. So he could. He's right. Like it's. Yeah, there you like, go. It's happening right now. It's ha- Yes, not but not. Check, but it's, it's gonna right get now. a bigger, ch- a bigger chunk's gonna come out because of free this, free that, free here, free. Th- well, and- I thought I, I don't know. I think that if he adopts, which he seems very comfortable with, and he adopts a lot of Warren's policies, where we talk about you know the two cent tax on billionaires and over a certain threshold of income, um, you know, taxing point one percent of their salary. I think that that's you know 
something that he could look into. Mm-hmm. Um, but the idea that if you make 50 K you're going to give up 80% of your salary is absurd. And Le- that's no. definitely not no, what no, he's no, promoting. No, no. Less than 50 K. It's still girl. I'm it's still going to be some if, you, if, you, if we right now free, we're getting taxed 30 percent like if we're i mean well i'm uh, getting taxed now like 37 percent. that's what i'm saying so exactly. 50 is not far away exactly. <laughs> you know i mean 80 if, is a lot but 50 you, is kind of it can i don't happen. think we're in the target thresholds of who's going to be getting taxed okay what well, i do i hear we you. are not but the one about percenters that, how about one percent, one percent, no, I know. the one percent can afford that how about that tax and all like how about these kind of like this is i'm i'm just my concern with a lot of these um, policies that Bernie is 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 saying is spewing is that he can't get these things passed. Like Congress is gonna know, even if it's even if we were to, if by happenstance he were to win and he now has control of the Senate, there's no way the like the Demo- the Republicans are gonna go for this. Like there's just no way. And even if he got like everything done in two years, it would flip right away and we wouldn't get anything done. And to be honest. When you look at Bernie's track record in terms of like policies passed, he has passed zero, literally zero. He's passed two things and it, it and they were like things like like and I'm, when I say past things, he's helped. So people that are watching, they get the Bernie bros. They sign gonna, on, you know, sponsor. Yeah, yes. yes, he's done things where he's done amendments. He's good at that. He yes. does great amendments. Yes. He helped with the insurance with it, with um, Affordable Care Act. However, his own sponsored bills, zero. Two two things he got done, and they were basically like renaming the post office, like nothing, like like nothing real. So when I when people of color, and this is a new another part of the you know the Bernie Biden talk, because we'll get into Biden too. But the other issue with Bernie that I feel is like, what is it that people of color feel so much? Um, hope for in him or see this as the savior to the Democratic Party when, yes, he has been consistent with message. I do agree. And trust me, I'm talking about Bernie. I don't I don't think he would be a great president. I don't think he would be a president at all. I think that he's you know, I think he's been consistent. Yes. However, like like I just said, nothing he's done has passed. He hasn't been a very effective congressman for those twenty years and he's a, he's senator. A, he's a beta. You know? So 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 even so even if so even if we for some odd reason got him as president, he's not going to do the job that we need him to do. So it's like why are black people and Spanish people so excited about him? Because he panders so well. He got public well, enemy coming on stage rapping for him. Look at that public <laughs> enemy, everybody. Right. You know Flavor Flav's no, like, I ain't about that nonsense. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> well really I think I think, not, I think yeah, the yeah, biggest would, part about it matter. is income inequality, right? Right. And so you have someone that is willing to address and tackle Mm -hmm. the ridiculous disparity and income inequality in this country. Everyone else is scared of it, you know, because a lot of their funders are billionaires, et cetera. So I think like that is something that is interesting because he's not shying away from it. And then he's also looking at policies that would benefit the majority of the public. So you're talking about affordable housing in a real way. You're talking about minimum wage. You're talking about paid leave. You're talking about things that could impact the majority of americans in particular black people i mean he's even talked about reparations you want to talk about pandering so i mean like i think that you know he's someone that is not afraid of addressing the things that i think a lot of radical democrats want to hear get addressed yeah and i think in order for black people to have any stake in this oftentimes our viewpoints are seen as radical right and so i think there is a connection there personally i don't feel any connection to bernie um and I think the craziest thing, and I've said this before, is like when he first ran and I got that pamphlet in bed in <laughs> Brooklyn that said, like, did you know one in three black boys will be locked up? I was like, Bernie, did you know? Because I know, you know, right. like, is this a Wait, when was, what year was, year was that? What year was that? Was that 2016? 2016? OK, yeah. so. Oh, so. OK, you got it in 2016. But this is so this is interesting that you say that. Right. 2016. Bernie has. He, he Bernie is from Brooklyn. Bernie left Brooklyn in 1970s, right? Mm-hmm. And he went to Ver- he moved to Vermont. Beautiful. It's beautiful. I have nothing against Vermont. It has yeah. you know, ma- you know they have great beautiful maple trees, you know, great great syrup, I'm sure. Yes, sir, great syrup. However, what's one thing that you guys don't see too many of in Vermont? <laughs> People of color. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where I get lost. This is where I don't understand. How? How? How does someone that has all these great things to say about people of color 
in 2015, in 2016, but from the 1970s. And yes, we can't we can't forget he used to walk with ML with Dr. Martin Luther King. No pictures, yes. no pictures though, but supposedly. <laughs> he, no, let's just say he did. Let's, let's just say he did. Let's say he did. How long ago was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not long ago. Like, yeah. and then, get a history book somewhere. Right. And then when you think about it, like let's be honest, like walking with Martin Luther King makes you a decent man. That's at the at the most that's what it makes you. That's you, it. You weren't racist. But let's be You're let's not racist. Be Is let's that the, be, Are we supposed to be like giving you like like you know let's be honest though what candidate really understands the struggle of people of color in particular black people in this country so i think if from 2016 to 2020 Mm -hmm. he's hired a number of black women to help him with his campaign Mm -hmm. to help inform him and his policy decisions hillary i mean at least that's progress you know what i mean like if no but you can't say that because hillary had a like black she had black women uma who's from mus is 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 a a muslim one like mm -hmm, she mm -hmm. everybody around hillary Mm -hmm. was black (laughs) literally that's all she she had never became president so we don't know what she would have did okay but yeah fine who's the most simone sanders tackling over here she, simone, she had a bernie simone, sanders uh, simone, <laughs> rally tackling somebody simone wait S- who's simone that? sanders a senator oh oh, oh oh yeah she tackled somebody oh oh, and, uh, oh you're talking yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, biden. Biden. <laughs> biden yeah yeah like a, yeah she like yeah, uh, she yeah, had yeah like so. a linebacker she looked good. <laughs> yeah i was like all right that was a good dude good, 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 good. Full running back on them. You, you was like, like wow. is this football <laughs> yeah 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 she, she had a little practice <laughs> she, yeah she was ready she was i don't know how she she came after but point yeah so the point is i'm not and again i honestly at this point again because i'm a democrat if if it so happens that bernie is the candidate then i will eat my i will shut up and you guys will you know i won't talk much but this will be the person that i'll have to vote for because you know obviously yeah because he you have to because I'm a Democrat. If he's I'm a the Democrat. candidate, yeah, I'm a Democrat. I'm a registered Democrat, and doesn't I, mean you're, you're you don't you don't have to do anything. No, I don't. So have should to, she but, just but, not vote at all? No, I wouldn't stop. I I can't. No, I you can vote for Trump. But I wouldn't because see, Trump doesn't align with my my core. Like you remember how you talked? But Trump's about, not a communist though. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, it's he's like, not. He's a capitalist, and I appreciate you... the capitalist because that's another. That's another thing. Thank you for bringing that up. Another thing is that I feel like it's like a bad word to be a billionaire. Like, since when is being a billionaire a bad thing? Because Why are they making a it a bad, bad thing? thing? But okay, in this country, you can have the haves and the have mores. But right now, we have the have mores and the have nots. The, the inequality is extreme. So like that gap between it is just absurd. The fact that what a thousand people in this country have however much percentage, like 80% of the wealth in this country. Yeah. It, that's where I think like people want to talk about it. And I think it's funny that people identify with billionaires as if, you know, there's a real opportunity to become one. And oh, I think no, that's I don't. part I, of I, I'm not saying the fabric. I don't, no, I, but don't I think, think it's I'm the fabric of the American dream, yeah, right? It is yeah, the, the, I that idea be that anyone can make either. it. You work hard enough. You can pull yourself up by your bootstraps yeah. and you too could be a billionaire. Uh-huh. So don't tax me because one day I could be a billionaire. It's right. Bullshit. Yeah. So what time? Okay. We got to write that down. <laughs> yeah. No, I honestly feel like, um, I think that it's just weird that we are separating ourselves so much that it almost feels like now, you know, the, be, be, in the blue party, there's like the the Republican and Democrat, like there's like a gang war. Yeah, it's crazy. Bernie yeah. Sanders went to Moscow on his honeymoon, people. <laughs> the Soviet Union was going on. This guy is a so communist. He's trash. He, is, he will destroy Cuba. this country if and he had ability to. But he's, he's so much of a beta male. I'm not even if some God forbid if he ever if he wins somehow, uh-huh. he will never do anything because he's so soft. He's a yeah. wimp. So it's just a waste of time. Why about, even give this guy a chance? What like, about he, Cuba? What about the his his views on Cuba? Oh yeah, shout, shout out to Fidel, right? Like he said. Shout out to Fidel. Like him and Ka- Kaepernick. Shout got out the, to Fidel. Him and, him, 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 and, him and Kaepernick got the Fidel Castro matching right. Fidel Castro shirts on. So it's like, and, and that's why Florida, he'll never win this out. Yes. He'll exactly. never so win now, this out. And the reason why we're talking about that is important to know for people, like, you know, people of color who are watching is like, what's the big deal? It's like, uh, it's a big deal. You know, for it's people. Usual. Che it's Guevara a huge deal. Che Guevara rode it's, with Fidel Castro. They, Chevelle, people, these, che hated black people. Hated us. Well, that too. Hated us. But, but not even just that, but these people were so bad to their people. These leaders were horrible. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, Drag him out to the they woods and blow their brains out. They, like Fidel had a communist country, but he lived good and his people lived horribly. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like he was traveling. He was enjoyed. The only thing, yes, Bernie did say one thing that I do agree with is education. I do think that people are educated. There's a lot of doctors in Cuba. But what's the point of being a doctor if you are still making 
like pennies. You know what I mean? It's not right. And look it's, at Venezuela. You were talking about communist yeah. country. I mean, look what's up. They're eating each other's dogs. Yeah. So oh do you really, do you really oh, want to go there? My God. Do you really want to, so do you want to play that game? Yeah. Well, now let's talk Biden, guys. Let's talk about Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Because <laughs> we got to be fair. So Bernie Rose, if you guys, you know, are cursing us out on the in the um, go, go put it, some masks on and go storm the streets, Bernie Bros. Uh, yes, <laughs> I did my best best. to represent only do because you, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do my best to represent for Biden, but Lord, I don't even know what this man's policies are. What I don't. Go on, I, 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 I just he, he replied to someone and said, "Go on his website." <laughs> <laughs> well, you hear me? Just endorsed Trump. He just, he just endorsed Trump the other day. No. He's, you, you hear him? Oh With uh, <laughs> Sleepy Joe, when he said, Lord. you know, he came out, he, he was stuttering, of course, his dementia, but he pretty much said, you know, vote for say, Trump in 2020. <laughs> he can't even say a coherent <laughs> sentence. He didn't That's, say that. What did he say, Chris? No, no, no. I can't, no, he, <laughs> no, he, no but he did. Honestly, he, he, I wouldn't it's, be surprised. No, it, I, it wasn't exactly that, but he slipped up and but pretty much I, said, you know, uh, Trump 2020. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know, the other thing he said, like, it was like his sister and his wife were next oh, to him, goodness. and he thought his sister was his wife. And it's like, bro, man. And like you got it. Either his team, something is wrong with his team that's not preparing him, or something, or or he is having what you said, some he, sort of. He is dementia. People, some there's, sort of, there's uh, professionals coming out that are like in the mental field, and mm-hmm. they're saying he's suffering from dementia. He has early stage of dementia, but he also has stuttering problem. He's always had that since he was little. They, they he says. Mm, since so, he says, you know, well, it's politics. So you got to play the game. If, right, right, if right. you want to go through his policies, which honestly, some of this stuff is. Surprising to me. Um, he wants to end cash bill reform, Chris's favorite thing. He wants to abolish capital punishment. He wants to scrap the disparity of cocaine sentencing disparities and eliminate mandatory minimum sentences. He wants to eliminate uh, private prisons. He does want to raise um, the minimum wage, which I think Trump should want as well. I just think that's like a nonpartisan issue. Yeah. Um, and he wants to increase uh, family. F- f- family paid sick leave um and uh two years college tuition should be free so you know but what are the things seems- where anything about people of color anything for people of color i mean i heard the cash bail thing but that doesn't like i need something that affects me and my f- immediate family and the people that i'm around study where- reparations that doesn't help and i'm not a black american so it doesn't yeah. help I'm, me at all talking, I'm Demi- 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 talking about reparations only, for 30 I'm, minutes um, and, I, and I'm, guys i'm not african i'm african so my, my mom is my dad and i'm haitian and african so that's why i said i'm not african-american because i don't want so any. expand <laughs> or fix existing debt relief programs for student debt yeah i don't that means i don't just see- fix the that the rep that re, that uh loan re um re, uh, what's it called repairment that loan reimbursement thing or maybe that's what he yeah, meant yeah okay just like trying to figure it like to just fix give, it yeah and honestly even that isn't really good how do you I'm that talking, ain't shit that that you know what that means that he's just not going to he honestly is just not you know he doesn't have a plan for um people of color like if if biden has um, if bernie has all these plans for um you know I guess he's no. I mean, he's no. He's no. He goes like, for people of color. He's no Trump. Let's put it that way. What does that mean? I mean, Trump's done a lot more for black people than Biden would ever be able to do. We we don't know. I mean, that remember yet. he was called the first black president a couple of days back. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They, call, they also called. He, but, um, they also called Clinton first black president. Nah, so. but you know he's br- he brought uh, a lot of black youth to the White House for the third time and with within a three year time frame. So I've been to the White House twice. You know since Trump's been elected. Never been yeah. to the White House in my entire life before yeah. Trump. So. But a lot of people. I've been to the White twice. House too. I've been prior to House. Trump. And also uh, hearing the president speak. Obama. Oh, yeah, uh, I heard no, Obama speak. I've actually. heard Obama speak. I've, I've been I've been able to, but they wasn't at the White House though. No, but I've, I, was, I've, I was at the White but House. But I've been at the White House, and a lot of Black people have been at the White House when Obama was yeah, president. Jay Z, Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a right. lot of but I a lot totally of agree. people were also you know, NCAA when he no, won no, no, championships. No, 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 but you, can, you know. but don't forget like students used to that a lot of students came. Um, he had you know he had people like Hamilton, came, like he just had so many people. A lot of the creative arts. He honestly opened the doors. But, people come like that was one thing back to back to biden though i mean i think that one of his things could be like the minimum wage there's nothing explicitly for black people so do candidates need that that. do candidates need that nope you help out america you help out black people we're americans but don't you feel like that black americans have suffered 
a lot at the hands of this country and for years and there hasn't been anything to fix it. So I don't like the reparations part, whatever it is. Don't you feel like there should be some kind of like specific um, policy that rights the wrong? No, I'm not a victim. I don't need help. Okay. I don't need a handout from nobody. Okay. White, black, Asian, Hispanic, brown, orange. I don't care. I don't need but your you, handout. But you're, you would, your ancestors are, you're from, your parents and family, your from ancestors are from the South, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like from all the things, and I'm not saying specific, I guess it's hard to say you, because you have a different type of mentality. I had, I had a father in my life. It's a big, <laughs> it goes a long way, folks. That's, That's real talk. Real talk. 70% of our people don't have that. That's a real issue. That mm -hmm. I mean, more and more, I, That's I mean, I don't want to change the topic too quick, but I agree with you, because more and more, I think that we are, you know, if we... Let's 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 hold that for another. Yeah, we definitely we'll, we'll need to have there. we need to get another conversation about that because I do agree with you that having both parents, if you are fortunate, because some people a parent dies, some people parents divorce, some mm -hmm. people you know you know li life yeah, happens. Life happens. Yeah, life but happens. if you can, like Lord, please raise your kids with your dad, with your mom and mm -hmm. dad in that family, because Lord. Get rid of baby mama, baby daddy stuff. Yeah, that's, we need to get rid that's, of that. We need to stop doing that and then glorifying it because honestly, mm. when we think about um, a this lot, is so like I'm this sorry. is <laughs> so paternalistic in nature though this whole conversation because it's not like you know <laughs> to say like you're not a victim. Sure, that's your opinion, but to also or, or your belief, I should say, but also to then we can't ignore the fact that like this country had laws against us, state sanctioned federal things against us to eliminate us from gaining wealth. So I'm not going to sit here and act like that isn't a real thing. And that yeah. was not punitive because of our skin color. Yeah. So yeah. you were lynched in the South. If you own land Democrats. and then you ran up North and they took your land and there was no reparations yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. So that has to be acknowledged. Well, thank you. Like, thank you Democrats. Has thank you very, to black thank people in this country. We yeah. need to stop voting Democrat. The mm. people that did that to us. Mm. That's what we need to start. Well, doing. I, I I would I would say that because of the wrongs that were done in this country, I do feel like there needs to be a specific plan from these candidates. Like you said, you said Trump's done more f for black pres for black people than other presidents. You say that all the time. So if you believe that, then that's isn't that what we're saying? We're all saying the same thing. There needs to be some. Why but, is he doing my, that? My, my, my why idea, is he doing uh, that? The way to get that accomplished is just be, just do what you can to help out this country. Help out this. If you're a citizen of this country, that means you're a law abiding citizen. You have a license. You have ID. You are an American. If you do something as a president that benefits Americans. It's not going to, nobody's going to knock on your door and say, oh, whoa, whoa, you're black. You're not going to get this. This is only yeah. for everybody, non-black Americans. Right. No. If you are benefit Americans, that means black people as well. So if you benefit well, okay, Americans. Well, okay, so something Biden has is to, you know, get rid of any past uh, marijuana convictions. So obviously there's a disparity because of the war on drugs and the incarceration of black men. So that is something that would indirectly, specifically benefit black people in this country. And white people too. Right? White people smoke weed as well. I know a lot of white people smoke weed. They got right, and they're not, weed. but they're not in jail. Like, like, I, I, know, I know, I know, I know, quite, I, know, I, know <laughs> I know a few people in jail. There's white people that have served some time in jail for some weed. So. I, I, I'm right, sure. That doesn't I'm sure. The fact that yeah. black people are overly incarcerated, over policed. But there's you say one, that. Look, you look, 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 look at the numbers on this one. Then I want to see the numbers and see how many white people are incarcerated. No, you're the one who said it. So you bring the numbers. <laughs> no, but but you said, but you've said it. No, but he doesn't even have to say that because he's even said to in the past that Joe Biden, the crime bill, put all these people in prisons and that's what we're saying they have to make don't you think that that should be you should rewrite your wrongs don't yeah you? and trump got rid of that already i thought we were already passed that trump's got the rid of three strike laws for the for, okay for yeah, the first step back yeah so i'm saying that's what i'm saying trump has done that to benefit black people and, and, but, that, and that's, 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 benefit, that's benefited black people not just black people though that oh, benefited okay. americans okay and black people benefited that very what heavily what about the hbcu thing that you always talk about oh yeah that's for black HBCUs. people what about why hey that. why about the white colleges why are the white colleges not being given money what white colleges are there <laughs> i don't know any white All colleges. Of them. <laughs> no if, if you were black and you were educated you can go to any college you want folks is, you can go to harvard you can go to yale you can go anywhere you want but your president is helping matter of fact it's easier for you nowadays your president gave uh, um, uh, the order to uh, to give more funding to uh, HBCUs. A record, a record number for HBCUs. Yes, yeah, that's so. a number higher than what other presidents have. Yeah, so the give, other pres so his, his predecessor also did the same thing. It's just he did more. I mean, more people are going to schools. But 
do you, you that's something where he actually helped black people don't do you disagree that he shouldn't have helped them you no, should, well, do he what should you not do. have I given mean, that I, money if, to, it, if you can help people out and help, but help but hbcus if is black people so he just did that do you think that trump shouldn't have done that I can care less what he's done. As long as he benefits America in general, which he's doing, he can help out black colleges, he can help out Hispanic colleges, whatever he wants to do. <laughs> okay. And Trump's winning. You so know, you that's, only, that's so what, it's only if Trump does it then is what you're saying? No, that's as, as, what as, long, as long as, uh, long as uh, he benefits America and he's yeah, been benefiting but America. That's what, uh, that's what so, we're saying about these other I'm, candidates. So I'm benefiting. I'm not, I don't go to college. I've never been to college. I've been in college for 30 credits I got in college and I dropped out because it was late, it was whack. Oh. So, you know, I don't I can care less about college. So if he can benefit, if he wants to donate to black colleges, more power to him. I'm not going to say don't do it mm-hmm. but as an american i benefit under trump's presidency okay and uh i want to vote for him again just keep benefiting and honestly and if he wants to donate to him go ahead I okay care. that's fair okay so um is there anything else that you guys want to talk about in terms of like the bernie and um biden beef <laughs> that's happening just that bernie would legalize marijuana altogether so that is something to consider that, um that is- and i think that people should should look at both candidates and really figure it out but at mm-hmm. the end of the day like like, we get to vote in the primary so late as New York State that I'm going to support whoever's We're like in the candidate. Yeah. We're in June, so it doesn't even matter. And I'm, no, I'm in June. I'm, st- I'm, I live in Jersey, so I'm in June. I think you guys are in May. But it's like, what's the point at that, you know, they'll, we'll know who it yeah. is. So, um, all right. So let's get into this coronavirus, um, uh, this big topic that, you know, we talked about it the last episode and it wasn't like as a it wasn't a, 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 it wasn't as um i guess fake news breaking news as it is now it's like every 10 minutes someone else we hear is getting mm. you know is is being infected by the disease so i want to know are we like overreacting you guys feel like this is an overreaction do you feel like the me- and i know a lot of people have complained about the media some doctors have said that the media is really like politicizing really this politicizing this mm-hmm. and um democrats are politicizing this and politicizing this you know and, the, and both sides honestly are kind of just kind of going back at each other and i just want to know what what are we supposed to be doing right now because i don't know who's leading this like who's leading this 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 the ship like i don't know anymore at this point because it's like every day i'm getting different (laughs) news i don't know what to believe trump's telling me one thing there's pence is telling me another there's kids coming in there aren't kids like what's going on I think the first thing is wash your hands. Okay. Okay. Like, like oh, insanely and stop okay. touching your face. Like ah. every doctor, right, left, it doesn't matter, has said, mm-hmm. please wash your stinking hands Girl. and don't touch your face. Um, but I think some of it is an overreaction, but then some of it is also about, you know, not exposing the most vulnerable population, including our seniors. Mm-hmm. Um but I also think it's interesting that our current president um, is considering some very liberal policies I heard. that have been placed before Shout him. Shout out to Andrew Yang. Um, People are even talking about Andrew Yang's, um, I, um, his, his um, what is wrong with my, my his uh, $1,000 a month uh, theory that we now. Oh, might- here you go. <laughs> Yang gang. Yeah, my, yeah, work, now, by any means. You know, and yeah. but they are and, looking at And if he does that, you will still support Bernie. Well, no, you're I, a Democrat. No, I'm not. And that's what I'm trying to say. You, you can't see that. Bernie, stop saying that's I'm, what I'm, that's what I'm no, saying. I'm that's, what I'm, that's what I'm telling Look, you. So. The only way I would support Trump, and I'll tell you this, is if Trump, I honestly don't care about his antics as much as I care about his policies that those are the things that I, I care more about. I don't, I, I, as much as I despise the way he acts, the way he treats people, <laughs> I don't like the, his personal life. I don't like his, you know, how he treats his wife, how he has a hundred wives. Oh, how, like, he has three I mean, wives. He has three yeah, wives. but you know, he when you're, when you're a Republican, you know, the family, the nucleus, you know, like they want leave it to beaver type of, you know, people, yeah. you know, they want people like Pence, you know, like, so to no, see. No, 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 Trump's not like Pence. Trump's no, I said, like, that's what they want. No, that's what they want. That's what they want. That's what they expect. That's what they expect. That's what people Republicans expect. See, Trump came out of left field because if you told if you told Republicans twenty years ago that Trump would be their candidate, they'd be like, get out of here. 
Well, hello, hello, hello there. It's Chris here with a special message for our listeners. I want to thank you for listening to Politrix Podcast and want to share an exciting offer to entrepreneurs and supporters. We are now offering businesses the opportunity to be advertised on our show during this mid-roll. If you're interested, please email hello at politrixpodcast.com. We're also taking support from our listeners through the Anchor app. Just click support this podcast and you can give whatever you want. The funding is helpful to help us increase our production at video and start marketing and advertising for our podcast. We appreciate you, and please continue to listen to the show. A sexy voice, man. No homo. <laughs> Try, yeah, he, he <laughs> likes his <laughs> advertising voice. That was, yeah, you, had, you know, you got the you got the radio voice. But um, so if Trump, you know, Trump came out of left field um, for the Republican Party because if you told Republicans, con- like the traditional Republicans, you know, the ones that you don't like, the rhinos that you talk about, mm-hmm. that Trump was going to be their candidate, they would laugh you off the you know the the room because that's not the type of person that they um they i hate to say respect they respect a certain type of um human being and the things that you do usually typically it's in closed doors they don't you know people it's not publicized so right um i say that to say um you know it's just so it's just so interesting that you know he's the candidate that you know republicans are championing now you know so i don't know i i just i and that's the reason it's, it's, I, I just he brought, he's brought it. he's brought a new wave of conservatism yeah you know? so you gotta you can't look at it like this is a rhino republican if you don't you don't respect the or don't like the rhino republican types he's not a rhino yeah and, he's not. i and, just hope i hope he does what's right you know in this situation even if it does sound super left or liberal or democratic or whatever. Like if people need paid family sick leave, if small businesses need to stay afloat to get micro loans, you know, until the summer, hopefully this thing dies down. Like I just hope that his response really takes care of our small business owners and then also our most vulnerable Americans. And I'm, I'm looking to him to see what he's going to do in this situation. I really he's, So far so good. He's, he's banned in certain countries already from being able to travel here. So mm-hmm. that's the first thing you needed to do. So mm-hmm. should have been, he should have done that way earlier. No, I don't do it. We had the swine, the swine flu under Obama, and over a thousand people died until we finally made a state of emergency. So I, I'm, this, I'm, I'm just focusing on. I mean, and I'm telling you, so he's, no, take, he's, he's on it now. So if, if he has, if you know, we don't have what we have only a few confirmed deaths from, from mm-hmm. coronavirus so far. So more people about, died for, dead, dead from like, the flu this year than coronavirus. So yeah, yeah but you do, de- definitely you not do agree control. that it's a very serious, serious thing. I mean, uh, not very, very serious. I, no, I, no, I think it's kind of serious, but no, not very serious. No. I think, get, I think it's politicized a lot of it. And it's every two years we have a virus. So I'm yeah. not, I'm not, and thank God we have the CDC in place. And apparently, um, so there's a, there's a myth that Trump cut the CDC, which is wrong. I mean, the media has been saying that that's not true. He hasn't done news. that. Um, he did, he tried to though. He, he wanted to tr- cut it, but you know, the Congress was like, no, we need them. You know, I think the only thing that he didn't have is just a, a, a leader in place. But, um, he, you know, he was very slow to act, you know, on, no, it wasn't. well, that's what everybody, the band, band was, the, he was quick on the band. Well, the band is one thing, but, but the you band know, is the most just, important thing. But what about the, the well, that's kids? an easy what thing. He kids? loves bands. What about, remember the Muslim band? Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but what about love the, day one. But guys, what about the kits? Like the testing kits, like states don't have proper testing kits. Like New York, yeah. as of Friday, New York didn't even have like 1500 testing kits like they so if something were to happen you know the way it's the way it's uh, have spreading you, have you seen china that was going on over there they're like kicking people's doors down ripping out family members out of their homes and dragging them to vans and taking them to quarantine sites they are handling it terribly right Look but how I, we're I, handling live it here, compared to other countries. I, I live and in that's, america let's compare though i was going to know if we're doing a good job if we don't compare to other countries we are doing just way because, better than italy china it's like quarantine half oh, their citizenship yeah, we should, yeah so no they now as of as of just an hour ago they quarantined the whole country so 60 million people now Insane. can travel ban they can't go see the thing is so i have a fa- i have family that lives in italy and here's the problem with Italians. There's not a lot of news, proper news, the way we get our news and stuff. And they're not mm-hmm. getting the information that they need. So these people were living their lives, being around each other, giving, you know, it's friendly, giving each other, hey, hi, mm-hmm. give a kiss, you know, drinking, smoking, t- enjoying, ha- enjoying themselves, right? And what's happening is they're spreading the virus throughout the country. And uh, as, according to um, just the numbers na- uh, as a recent, 9,100 cases of um, corona um, have, have have happened in Italy and 
463 um, deaths. So they're now realizing it's almost 10,000. So they now had to put, it's not even state of emergency. It's like lockdown. We need to contain this. This thing is spreading. And what, you know, doctors that, um, a lot of doctors, especially the task force in the United States, who um, I really want to shout out um, the the woman, um, Deborah Burks, who is working with Mike Pence, who Mike Pence is doing a normal, a pretty good job, I have to say. I'm actually, I'm actually happy that Mike Pence is is the one in charge. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Then Trump. Because, we were all concerned since yeah. he said pray away uh. HIV, you know. So we were hoping that he didn't ask us. Well, to yeah, pray away COVID nineteen. No, no, no. He no, he. But I think he's doing a better job because he's actually telling you. As much, I don't know, I can't tell if these people were lying or not, but he's at least saying, well, we don't have this, we don't have that, but we are going to yeah. get it. So it's like, my thing is just the testing kits. It's like, why didn't we have that? We knew about coronavirus for like a month and we didn't have that in every state. Like, let's just be prepared. Let's just make sure in case anything happens. And then Trump says no one's dead yet from this. And then the next day, it's like three deaths in Washington state. Then it's like 10. Then it's And then just kept going crazy. And I'm like... Why are we not prepared for this? This is like, this is this is the whole point of like the CDC doing their job. So that's what I'm like kind of confused with. I don't see a problem. I think we're doing better than anywhere in the world right now when it comes to coronavirus. And we probably are. You're absolutely right. Probably. We, we probably are. are. Okay, but this is United States. Like people, exactly, these, we're number one. So. People, right, but we should. I just okay. Maybe we have a higher brow. We 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 for us, it's like look, people don't want to be interrupted, and then we have our 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 our, our stock market is like suffering because of this. Because our news is making this politicizing this and making it seem like it's World War Three, it's the end of the world, is oh the world's crumbling, and now they're panicking, making people panic. The news once again is screwing things up because they're yeah. not doing what the news is supposed to do, which is well, tell the news. But then how can we do it? Because this is the thing. Because I I hear that too, right? And I saw a doctor saying that. But then I'm like, well, how are they supposed to? Report it. What tell, do you tell about the people who there's only 50, over fifty percent of the people that got coronavirus are pretty much now doing pretty good job. Mm -hmm. They're doing they're, they're, they're a okay. Doing, they've gotten so let the people know that. Okay, I, don't, I had to do digging to find that out. Right. I shouldn't have to be I digging. Agree with that. The CNN should be telling me that. No, see, but you guys didn't see the town hall, CNN town hall. They do. They talked about it. They talked about some people. No, that but were... I think I mean on all outlets, okay. even you know right left, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They're all kind of up one more new case in Massachusetts, one more mm -hmm. new, and it's one. become to a point where it's so sensationalized it's like well you know okay two thousand people died but percentage wise you know it's still it's like three percent of people mm, and that's cool. already if they're immune immunocompromised and so they already have pre-existing issues and so we should be focusing on those people to take the precautions and we should be focusing on ourselves not to be continual like spreaders of this right so taking our steps but it doesn't mean if you get it as a healthy person chris or Kirsten or myself, we're going to die. Right? And I feel like that's what the media well, is I just, saying. I it's mean, like I, the media doing with the flu right now. Oh, somebody died from the flu yesterday. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be next. Watch yeah. out. Yeah. Of course they wouldn't do that. That's stupid. Right. But yet they're doing it with, with the coronavirus where less people are dying from that. Well, what about the fact that people don't know what's how it's being spread? They don't know oh, who patient zero is. There's no wrong with educating people. That's, some, that's what news is do. Educate right. people how to, how to handle yourself in a situation, but then don't use the news at the same time to make people panic and freak them out. Yeah. That's, what the, that's what the news has been doing because they're trying to politicize it. I think, and yeah. to the that point too that freak out that the news is doing is also really impacting small businesses the stigmas oh are increasing God. chinatown is like freaking a desert you know they have laid off several of their staff across restaurants they're gonna have to close them down they're dude i'm not going to south by to southwest float. because of this south by southwest is canceled canceled like, the economy i mean it's, it's showing like what the impact is yeah so yeah this is but, this no, is super but you guys who say that you got i hear you guys but then would you not rather people be safe than sorry? Don't you think that it's important for us to at least be prepared? And yes, it might be a little bit sensationalized because it, remember it's media. They're all biting. There's like, there's a hundred outlets. Everybody's Clickbait. trying to get their, their advertising dollars. But the question is, don't you think that people should be informed then not informed? Because people don't pay attention to anything. Regular people, I, I was just in a car, in a, oh, an Uber car, and the guy was telling me, asking me, so this virus, this corona thing, is this real? What's going on? Is, like, people don't pay attention. People literally don't. So, so we're supposed to make them panic? True. You're supposed to be No, like we shouldn't make them panic. Well, but what, but what, what do you see is the panic? That's what I don't see. What, what part of it is panic to you guys? Because I don't see panic. I just see them reporting. I see that they're just... They're doing what the media always does. It's always like whenever it's a snowstorm. Oh my God! It's going to be a crazy snowstorm. The blizzard well, of nine. Bait, the blizzard. You know? you know, it's always the same thing. So I don't see a difference. 
So what do you think is so bad that what they're reporting? No, no, tell them, don't tell them all the whole story. Tell the whole situation with people that had the coronavirus. People have a lot of people are surviving through the coronavirus. Let mm-hmm. people know that this is not like if even worst case scenario, you get to get the coronavirus. Don't act like it's just the end of the world and yeah. the whole thing's going to blow up and it's just over now. <laughs> oh. I mean, they're taking all like the toilet paper out of the stores. I'm like, what does toilet paper have to do with COVID-19? Why? Like, it's just like an overreaction. But also I agree, like we do need to be aware and, you know, awareness is huge. So I don't, I don't know. I think what this is going to tell us though, is like, how do we prepare? Cause I don't think this will be the first nor the last. And I think this is the new world order of like these global diseases with globalization. Right. So how do we better prepare? What is the budget of the CDC? Why didn't we have the right test kits? Cause yeah. we were giving false negatives. Right. And how, so, did, how did China spread this in the first place? China. <laughs> What was that about? I mean, but then do they you ban travel to other countries? They had a lot of people that were. I don't, tr- I don't trust China because they, they own ninety. They own ninety percent of a far- pharmaceutical market in the in the world right oh, now. Oh my god, that's so, so think true. about that. That's so you, what, I, I don't trust anything China does or it comes out of China, well, even their electronics. Let's not. We we gotta. We, yeah, shout out to it. our Chinese friends too that listen to us. I'm we like, is this become a conspiracy <laughs> theory? Like we, we're not against all Chinese people. I'm not against all Chinese people. There's Asian people out there that are cool. Oh, but China, I don't like China. Oh country. my god! The country, xenophobia. you mean like the poli- the, po- the the political? Because it's really it's not really the it's people. It's a communist it's country. The, it's like you're talking about the government. You're you're against China, the government. The, their leadership. Okay, thank you. That's you got to make that clear because you don't want people in your comments. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but let's be. Um, oh, so just another breaking, guys. You, did you guys hear that um, two congressmen who spent time with Trump today, um, this past weekend, um, are now putting themselves in isolation for fear of coronavirus? Um, one of them, Representative Matt. Gates um, rode back in Air Force One from Florida to Washington on Monday, um, well, today, and he announced his self-quarantine an hour ago um, after getting off the president's plane. Mr. Gates drew attention last week when he wore a a bulky gas mask in the Capitol Hill um, when they voted for that $8.3 billion emergency spending to combat uh, coronavirus. So hopefully everybody's okay and you know, and even Trump, like, I mean, I guess Trump also is kind of, um, might be, you know, have to put himself on some, on some kind of quarantine. I don't Definitely know. Definitely down will be right. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. I would like that. He's I would love for him to get COVID-19 and then show <sighs> no. the Americans that it's not that deep and we're all reacting. And in two weeks he steps out and he's perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, but he's in that age range where it's like compromised, you know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of that's actually scary you know so um it's gonna take more than a coronavirus to stop trump okay <laughs> well there you go so that's so that's you know that was something that i was just kind of shocked to hear and then i think he just did a rally and he was like shaking hands with everybody i'm like Come yeah. On. yeah and then baby. these politicians are still doing it i seen them like bloomberg was doing it like when he was uh, two weeks ago i'm like why are these I know, he was standing well, on his was... box and he was shaking a hand i saw him <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just at a political Shorty. conference and everyone was shaking hands. I yeah. was like, oh, <laughs> this ain't my type of party. <laughs> so, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's that's scary because if the president is like, do you think that he would have to be quarantined? Do you think he, because he was exposed, this guy was on his plane with him. Like, he was with That him. is scary. That's crazy. But yeah, he's Tesla and Don. He'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. yeah he'll be good. Yeah. And plus, he's the president. They have like mad Medicaid. He's he, oh, we have probably, no clue what, what they, they got. Had that they got some stuff. Alive. He will be. They, the they cure probably for, have the vaccine. The cure for he's coronavirus. fine. <laughs> they probably have the cure for coronavirus. They already said they tested it. Right. Mm-hmm. They already. They just like here you go. But um, all right, guys. Um, so. Stay if you if if you're out there listening to us and you're feeling a little you know you've got a fever or you have a f- stay home you know if it's getting if it's rate if you if you're feeling a lot sicker you're not getting better call your doctor um, for those who aren't feeling anything wash your hands like you're supposed to every day anyway you know try to you know limit no, your interaction wash your hands for twenty seconds I see oh, them in the bathroom it. not just water real soap and water right right count to twenty seconds mm. yeah get under those nails please yep 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 because that's where a lot of that that those germs are you know so definitely do that um someone said that um this doctor said he's like he was at a he was at an event and he went to the bathroom he said this is the first time he's seen actual men washing their hands 
just like <laughs> surgeons. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, oh my God, I don't want to think about Listen, men in their bathroom. It's COVID-19, God bless them. Okay? Yes. I was like, like Wash your hands, fellas. And I'm at the gym and I'm seeing like guys like washing the, like wiping the, um, the, the equipment. I'm like, whoa, uh, this is really happy because wow. they never do that. Like it's usually women. We're always wiping things down, you know, men just will go and just get the germs, then go get sick and, you know, have women take care of them. So I'm like, thank you. At least this is now, char- you know, this is at least don't awakening. Get, don't, don't, don't get used to it, ladies. I see. Don't Look get, at that. <laughs> get used to it. This is the new way to this live. This is the new okay. I hope it is. It's going to take more than Corona, ladies. Oh, man. All right, guys. So one more topic. So, um, so Chris, you, you, you brought up a, a story, which I didn't know about, um, a group of Brooklyn black boys attacked a 15 year old girl um, in Brooklyn recently. Um, you wanted to talk about it. I mean, I'm kind of that was it was I saw the video. It's really upsetting to see like I don't even know. It where was to, disturbing. It's very very to say the Extremely, least. Extremely, yeah. Like, and it was like what, like thirty boys, like twenty. It was fifteen. 15 oh, boys. It was a lot. And they but, stomped but, on her and kicked her. And why do we her. know? And they took her sneakers. People were trying to say, oh, her it was sneakers, some kind her of, phone, and her, her debit card. Yep. Oh. There are people, people are, you know, the conspiracy theorists out there are saying something, oh, it was gang related or something or something. And the family's coming out right now and saying that she was enough. She was just walking home from school. She's not what? a part of the gang. She's not, there's nothing to do. Oh this God. is all made up. She so was what just, do you think it is then? She was just jumped. She just robbed her. She had, she had, to, you know what it was? The, the, the one, the retro one Jordan she had on. That's, That's what it was. Oh my God. Because mm. I'm a Jordan fan. I don't even wear Jordans mm. like that, but I know my Jordans. Mm-hmm. And she had a very rare expensive pair of Jordans on. And that's and what that, they were in my opinion her? is why they almost wow. killed her. What's going on with these kids, man? I Fathers, man, black fathers. I've been uh, saying it since episode 1. You fathers need to be in the household, man. You have my been. dad would have saw a glimpse of me walk even walking by and not doing something about right. that. Just or me walking by and looking it. at it. He would have got in my face. He would have whooped my butt. But instead, they all jumped in. I mean, that's what was crazy to me was like, at least even back in the day when things were really bad, there was a code. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You don't touch women and you don't mess with kids. Scarface. And it just seemed like this, like, no code, no street code at all. No ethics. It's what just like out the window. Bystanders, nobody stopped it. Like, hey guys, stop. You know, like, and I've always... There was another young woman that oh. was like yelling and screaming asking for help to uh, help her but she was scared to do anything apparently because she didn't want to get jumped too. of course yeah. that's another thing that's an, that's another thing when i see kids and they're acting wild it's like oh let me go this way because it's like what am i gonna go do like because no, what they, they said that the people that there was like they're in front of a shoe store i forgot where they were in front of some store they were in front of the people that owned the store saw it mm-hmm. and they were afraid to do anything because they said it was they never in their entire life any people were in their 50s Never in her entire life saw something like that. Nobody. Said, it was like this pack mentality. Oh, it was, it was it was National Geographic. I don't know what else to say. It was, I remember it was, it was some ten years behavior. ago something like that. No, I agree. Something like that happened in Chicago, and they stomped that boy to death. I don't know if you guys remember mm. that. No. It was a very gruesome video. Um, no. A young boy. He was like fourteen. And the same, same exact scenario, and yep. he they stomped him to death. So looking at that little girl, I'm just glad that she's safe and alive. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, glad she's alive, man. Uh, it's really that was insane watching that. Yeah, Ty's gonna say something. yeah. No, and I saw you know I saw the video as well, and it was like like Chris said, it was just this, it's like animalistic. And from somebody like <clears throat> I grew up in a school where this would happen, you would see people get beat and mm-hmm. jumped and stuff like that and not i'm not explaining anything to say that this was right or wrong or whatever because it's completely wrong right but when you look at the energy of like why would all these boys or you know people girls because i've and, and like i said when i was growing up in a school i have went to went to um you would see people do that and people would run to the action mm-hmm. just to be a part of the action they're not even thinking like mom mentality they're mm-hmm. just thinking animal animal bit yeah just <laughs> like oh everybody's running over here well i'm gonna run over here and i'm gonna do this too and it's there it's it, it's an excitement that shouldn't be something exciting you know yeah. it's like some people get a a, a high off of it's um, adrenaline. You get yeah, this adrenaline yeah, rush it's an there. Adrenaline like rush, that. you know, of doing something mischief or Go bad. Go play but basketball. That's, like, stop. That's, that's, yeah, and <laughs> I don't you know, it, it. it's terrible. It's you terrible. Don't beat up a girl. It's just, like, what the heck is wrong with you guys? It's just the fact that, and sometimes some people, some guys might not even know this girl at first. Is what I'm saying. You might have three or four people run, and seven mm. people come in, and then everybody else is running into the middle. Oh, By yeah, the time you're true. in there, you're just running to just action. Be like you're else. just running to. 
to a fight. Well, let me tell you, you know, that does that, that look good. But what, what is terrible. that, Ty? Like, what's the root of that? Where does that energy and that whole, I guess, you like, know, even, growing up in so the city, I, like, there was codes. Where's no, the code? No, no, code? you're right. Like, there were codes. Like, I, like, luckily, I always went to, like, an after-school program. I always went to, like, a yeah. boys and girls club or something that, you know, yeah. kept me busy, kept me not involved mm-hmm. in those type of things. Now, don't get me wrong. Bloomberg you know, in school, you see marginal. those type of guys. You know, in school, you see them, but in after school, you weren't hanging around <laughs> them enough to get yourself in these these guys have no activity have Yo, nothing to do EAL on 116 a uh, 119 excuse me in Harlem like that was the hot spot like right. there were cute boys it was there the yeah. boys were playing basketball, basketball okay. police officers were playing with them you know what i do feel like like there's always been police brutality in new york but like as of recent times because of the lack of places outlets for the police to interact with the, the the urban communities there is now becoming more just like anger you know what i mean and we need these programs like these programs were how we grew up we i, I would go there and i would see everybody and it was fun and people were having a good time yes so, there yeah. were so, is the police athletically yes. for yeah. everyone else so, yeah. To oh, sorry, your, to, yeah to answer your question Nora, that that i feel like not to say that you know out today i was driving and um i I just saw a bunch of young young men and I'm like that much like testosterone walking in the group is not mm-hmm. it's just not good like not to say that it's mm-hmm. not to say that it's bad but it's yeah. like it's just so much energy that's built, pent up in somebody like they may need female energy they may need to take that energy mm-hmm. into sports they may need to take that energy into something that's mm-hmm. creative something building something right. but when there's no outlet to that yeah it go, just you know and then you get the one yeah, yeah you're in the streets, the streets you're looking for adrenaline you're laughing you're giggling at all sorts of stupid things you're not having anything no, nothing you're nobody, not a leader you don't you're not yep. a leader you don't have any examples everybody. of anybody <laughs> looking in front of you you know you're seeing people yeah. in poverty situations and you're like well we gotta you know it's just it's 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 you know idle idle hands of the devil playground they just need something they need activity and this this may be the time where oh my gosh i'm agreeing with chris but i mm. do think that like you know not having that black male presence and we're not going to force you know black men to be in, in households right like that's something mm. that's out of our control but and the same thing with Kyle. Wait, what do you mean we yeah, can't do you mean force them? Can... How can we not force them? What do you mean? Uh... I mean, how how will you force them? Well, I mean, like, I think, well, we should encourage them. I mean, if it's, I mean, right. we can't, I mean, we can't physically force. force, but like, there should be. Like, if you have a child, like, that's your child, period. Like, why that's would you? That's fine, but none of this has worked in the past however many years. It's just rhetoric at this point, and I... we have to have programs because the kids are the ones that are suffering. Well, and so we can talk about it as adults, but those very programs that you're talking about gave you a, a male sort of role model to look to, to be accountable to. So I think that we have to yes, have those if you programs. Did, if, you, yes, you, if you don't have the, the father in the house, but I will say right. that, I will say that there's a lot of immaturity between adults when it comes to parenting and they make the kids suffer. There's a lot of these Thank situations where black point. fathers want to be involved in the life and you have women out there on, and there's guys who walk away and don't, don't step up to the plate either. It's on both sides of the plane. I'm not trying to, call out any side but i feel right. like when it comes to just having a mature conversation what is best for the kid a lot of people a lot of uh, adults or parents don't even factor that in a situation and i'm not saying maybe a lot but i would say from we looking at statistics and we see numbers of people not having someone in the household or you know there is a, a, a you know a woman who may have several different men in the household and you know and, and, and vice versa it's, it's you know I was like whoa what girl not like be, that not like that but i'm just saying she might have a this guy she's yeah, talking yeah, to and then all yeah, of a sudden yeah, now yeah. another guy's in like oh, now now like now, a running and all, yeah, and all and now, them selling drugs yeah and oh, then now i'm me as God. a young man i'm oh, seeing my gosh. mom i'm seeing my Mom. But the, every single mother is not dating a drug dealer. No, friend. we're not, not saying not, that. Not saying, girl, I didn't say that. In the projects, girl. In the projects, in the projects, in the projects though, a lot of them are. Real. Let's be real. A lot of these women. The thing is, what we need to do is stop glorifying that lifestyle. Yes. Period. That's the problem. Hood we've, dudes. We've glorified the hood in words. our music. It's even in our. It's, our, it's, it's in our music. When you really think about, like, I was listening to some music. Okay, this is like going to age me, but I was listening to Maya. Right, I was listening to her album, and I was like <laughs> saying to myself. <laughs> You know, listen, I'm listening to her lyrics. I'm like, oh, man, listen to her. Like the way she's talking about sex, the way she's talking about relationship, the way like it's not blatant at all. You have to use your imagination to figure out what she's trying to infer. You're going to make me vote for Bernie. I am feeling super left and radical in this conversation. Why? (laughs) I'm serious. I feel like. 
our grandparents, my grandparents would have heard a Maya song and been like, oh my gosh, there is a better way to say this. She is so <laughs> outright. You know, <laughs> they were so smooth back in uh, the 70s. Sexual you healing, know, you buggin'. Make Spec- my love come down. <laughs> come on, what are you talking about? Yeah. An orgasm. Okay. Right. So. <laughs> but it's still, but it, imagination though, right? It's not like, let me F you. Let me, let me grab you by your, right. let me, but you know, whatever. I listen to my friends. I, 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 I watch my, I watch my friends' kids. I watch my friends' kids the other day. They're they're ten years old. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you, can you make that sound effect? <laughs> no, I was I was watching my friends' kids. Ten years old. They're twins, mm-hmm. boy and a girl. They talk in the most craziest way I've ever heard kids talk in my entire life. The stuff they say yeah. is so vulgar, so disgusting, so sick. And it's because and you listen to one of those. I'm like, where's this come and from? What do the All you say? do is put put on one of the trap songs on and. But there you have it. But what do the parents say about that? Like, what do they? Uh, what can the parents do? We're in an internet generation. All they got, new, all they got, have is a friend with a cell phone, and they can just go whoop on YouTube, boop boop boop, nah, little little, nah, little, yacht, little, little, little I, yachty, my, little 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 you do you do, and then put that on, and all it is is shorty got a shorty got this. I'm gonna put my D in that yeah, boom and yeah. boom that doo doo boo boo boo. I'm yeah. like Wu Tang wasn't doing that. I like Wu Tang. Wu Tang right. was talking about coming down and sounds like swords. you're doing a jazz scat right yeah, now. Yeah yeah yeah. He be doing it. That's like I have to because if I if I was doing the the real work, you would blurt me out. Right. So but let me. Can I just add to your thing though? But I want to say one thing though, Chris, because I do know. Like I have uh, my my um my my cousin has my my cousins are eight and ten, and these kids are exposed to all this stuff. But they're so well behaved. I really is do, there a father in the household? Of course. Oh, there yeah. you have it. I'm not talking. This <laughs> is, is there's really, no father. Like, there's, there's no father in this situation. Like they're a beautiful family. They they love on each other. It's like honestly, I wish that for all black and brown mm-hmm. and white mm-hmm. people and Asian people and everybody. I wish our families, because, you know, even white people, the divorce rate's high. Their kids suffer, too. Their mm-hmm. kids are suffering. Any family Their kids suffers become without a strong crazy family. Crazy people. They uh, become drug addicts. They become, you know... Um, Bernie Bros. Oh, the opioid I, crisis yeah, is destroying families. Families, we need that. We really do need families. Because what it looks like, and I, even me, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, you and I, we had, we were able to have our parents in our lives. You, you also... You you had your your mom and you had, had and my out, grandparents. Your grandparents in and out. yeah. So, but at least you had a structure. Like you need that love. You need that. It's that's the only way you're going. You to... You need a nurturer. You need a disciplinarian. Yeah. You need them both. Yeah, you absolutely do. That is the nucleus. So family. we gotta we gotta just encourage it and not keep like the drug dealing stuff like it's fun when you're like joking like you're listening to music rap music it's a little bit of it but it can't be 90 percent of the music like there was a so time then we should just legalize it so that we can then talk about being entrepreneurs and small business owners and yeah, you but, know have but it. The, there's still violence uh, yeah, still a lot of there's still violence. violence well there's still some other it's not just because it's not we're Cardi not going B, to disp- dispensaries B. they're not rapping about dispensaries girl okay mm-hmm. they're maybe not- they can <laughs> maybe <laughs> They can. Okay. We go end on this platform. Go for me in twenty twenty. There we go. We go end on that because because Dora wanna um get a dispensary. So you know, hopefully, we, yes. You know, in Maryland, you got you can. In Maryland, they have you're allowed. You can to, yeah, my, a very my, limited yeah. one, but you can. But if Bernie went, listen, this conversation is making me think some things. Thank oh, you for God. this. Right. Here we go. I don't know. All right. I don't. Shout out to the Bernie Bros <laughs> for, <laughs> for all the comments. All, all you guys out in the streets out there with your mask on. I see you. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna end it right there. Thank you all for listening to Paltrick's podcast if you enjoy the podcast please like hit subscribe leave us a comment and let us know what topics you want us to talk about next um, you can email us at politicspod at gmail.com I am Kirsten J on Instagram Christopher. I'm Nora Yaya at Miss Yaya Christopher Wright Google it yes Google it alright guys thank you have a good one peace, peace. ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen Think they got something they wanna say. Think they got something they wanna say.